Hi Blossoms, this is Sherry Blossom. Welcome back to my channel, Sherry Blossom Beauty. So I'm sure you're looking at your screen wondering what these three tools have to do with beauty or makeup in general. Well, I'll let you know. This video is going to be about depotting your eyeshadows. And what that basically means is to take it from outside of its original packaging and just use the regular pan that it comes in. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to depot um, non-MAC eyeshadows. And what I mean by non-MAC is just not your ordinary circular eyeshadows. These, the ones that I've depotted thus far comes in squares, rectangles, even as small as like dime size circles. So I'm going to show you how you can take this, which is a wet and wild uh, color icon um, eyeshadow palette, to these over here as you can see I've already um, depotted them so I've made a huge mess as you can see you know some fallout there um, my pile of destroyed color icon palettes and then that's the set that I'm not even uh, done with so I'm going to demonstrate on this palette right here so let's get started let me just set up the camera bear with me so what you're going to do is you're going to remove the backing or any sticker that may be on the back of the eyeshadow palette. So let's remove that. And it doesn't have to be extremely neat, but try to get it, get off as much of it as possible. Okay. Now that we've got most of it off, what we're going to do is grab our pliers. And you're just going to hold on to an edge where you can just hold it up above the flame. Now we're going to use the lighter here and we're going to uh, turn it on and get the flame going. Okay. Now you can either just hold it like this and just go in circular motions with the heat. Or you can hold it above like this and go in circular motions. I'm going to just hold it to the side just for sake of space and I want to stay in into the frame. So, and what you're going to do is just use circular motions just to heat up the bottom plastic part of the eyeshadow palette evenly. And when you see it start to really tar and get like really like a dark, it's going to look like a dark matte black instead of it being like the shiny plastic that it used to be, it's going to be like really charred looking. You hold it there. For a couple of seconds and the plastic is gonna like kind of like take on the shape of the pan that's on the bottom of it so just keep going and you're going to keep repeating that from circles and going into each individual pan And just be very, you know, patient. It's going to take a couple of minutes, but I think this is like the quickest method. I've seen the oven method, which I really wouldn't recommend. I barely recommend this one. You got to be very careful. And then I've seen like the straight, like prying method, which will nick your eyeshadows and or shatter or break them. So if you don't have a problem with pressing your eyeshadows all over again, then maybe that's for you. But I... Uh, the minimal work, the better for me. I haven't used the flat iron method. Not sure about that method either with the plastic just laying onto the heat source. So I feel this one is the safest bet. Okay. Let it cool off for a second and we're going to take our knife, okay? And see if you can poke through. If you look really closely or if you look on the side, look at that. See how I can poke through and it's becoming depotted? Okay, now I'm just going to take that one out. And I'm going to poke through the next one. See? It's coming right out. I'm going to take that one out. The other ones, I can't. They're hard. So I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to go right back to the light. The lighter. Okay. 
So like I said, it may take a couple of tries, you know, but it, it's, it's pretty quick. It's not that time consuming. And this is just a really great way to make a customized palette. Um, I would suggest some people use CDs to, um, to house their, you know, uh, depotted eyeshadows. Um, for a makeup artist, I would recommend the Z palette, which is a magnetized palette that you could customize. You could depot blushes as well and place it in any size. If you go to www.zpalette.com or you can even go to cameraReadyCosmetics.com, it gives you different Z palettes to choose from, which have a clear see-through window, which is great because you can just look in and see what colors are in there without having to open and close every single palette, which as makeup artists happens a lot, especially if you have MAC palettes and you forget which ones are which. So again, we're gonna check. Oh look, that popped right out. See that? Okay, take that one out. And please be very careful. You just heated up these items. They're going to be hot. Okay, those aren't that easy to come out. Back to the heat. And that's why it's very important to leave after you circle around it to leave the heat on certain areas for a couple of seconds to really loosen up and melt the adhesive that keeps it inside of the palette. Be very careful not to burn yourself. Also, I'm not sure if you saw, but all the tools I had out were placed on a towel. And that's just so that as you're pushing out these eyeshadow pans, they're very hot, you know, so you don't really want to push them out into your hand. So you can push them out onto the towel so that way when they fall down onto it, they won't shatter or break. Okay, all right, look at that. Push right out. And the next one, see? And the last one, see I'm taking it and I'm pushing it through the back. And as you can see, look, it's coming out right out. Okay, and as you can see, there is the demolished palette that the eyeshadow pans used to be in. Those are the eyeshadow pans, and as you can see, they're intact. And let me just flip one over for you so you can see the back. As you can see, it's still some adhesive on there. That's how, that's what happens. It, it melts off of the pan. And you can just clean that up with a little alcohol or uh, certain um, makeup brush cleaners. And there you have it, depotted eyeshadow. So hopefully this helped uh, someone out. This can now join the old eyeshadow palette grave. And remember these items are hot. And that's it. Check out my blog, www.sherryblossombeauty.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.